my name is Debbie and this is my cross tube channel Mama Bear Stitchery where I'm going to talk to you all about my cross stitch. A little about me since this is my first video. I live in the Bay Area of Northern California. We moved here from Edinburgh in Scotland so you might hear a little bit of the accent still there um, about five years ago and I live with my husband and two kids Maya who is eight and Elena who is six. We also brought our dog with us Dexter. Um, I started stitching about nine years ago when I first went on maternity leave. I was a zookeeper, which is a little nod to the name Mama Bear, and I looked after carnivores. So I was always busy and out and about and doing things and then suddenly being stuck at home in the middle of Scottish winter waiting to pop. I needed something to do. And I'd always wanted to stitch. Uh, I'd seen it on Pinterest, that kind of thing. So I picked up a first sampler kit. And I finished that and then I got other dimensions kit and I liked those because everything was contained that I needed I needed there with like lots of instructions so I worked my way through those and also picked up some of the British cross stitch magazines which had little cover kits to do and done some projects there but I didn't know anybody else that cross stitched until one day in the magazine I saw that there was this big online community of stitchers and I somehow found my way to Stitch Mania and my life changed. My mind was blown. There was all these other people out here who did the same hobby that I liked and it was great. <laughs> I kind of felt like Simba being held up by Rafiki like off Pride Rock and the Lion King. And it's like, behold, this land of designers and hand dyed fabrics and retreats out there. And safe to say my Stitchy Stash grew the number of works in progress I had grew and I made lots and lots of stitchy friends and they're big enablers. <laughs> One of those stitchy friends is my friend Kenny who just made his very first floss tube and his name's Kenny Stitchy so you should check him out. Um, but like me we went through a stage of start itis and start all the things till we were like, we need to do something about this. And so the end of 2018, it must have been, we were talking about how we should make it like a game to do all these, like finish our things. And other friends were kind of interested and we kind of discussed some rules and he created the group uh, Whip, uh, Cover Little People's Ears, bitch. It's a nod to the Britney Spears song Work. And in fact, she's our banner mascot for the group. And last year we ran with it. And how it works is in the January, we started with three lifelines and we could use those as starts any way we wanted throughout the year. And there was an odd start thrown in for a retreat or birthday. Um, but the rest of the time you had to earn a start by finishing five things. And it was super successful for a lot of people that participated, we all did really well. And I think last year was the most finishes I've ever had. I had about 30 and two of them are full size mirrors, dimensions kits, a lot. And I've actually picked some of my favorites to show you now. The first project uh, I picked is Cathedral Roots Goddess by Mirabella. And I think she's one of my favorite mirrors of all time. She's super sparkly. And I love her colours. And I stitch her on 28 count felspar by Picture This Plus. The next one I picked is Midnight Ride by Blackbird's Designs. Uh, this is my very first Blackbird. And I just used a bunch of stash floss. And this one's stitched on 28 count linen cauldron by Picture This Plus 2. And I did a D and an E in orange for my first and middle name. The next one is Needle Sands by Hands On Design and their col uh, collaboration with Summer House Stitch Works. And I used all the kit floss, but I did change out the fabric because I did not like the witch out fabric that it came with. And this is actually 32 count Lugana Witching Hour by Under The Sea Fabrics. And it's a beautiful blue color. The next big project that I finished was uh, Mother Maya 
by Ink Circles and this is huge. <laughs> this was way bigger than I thought. I needed about 10 skeins of Gentle Arts in the colour Royal Purple. But I completely underestimated how much floss it would take to finish this. And this one stitched on 32 count Sampler Gold by Colour and Cotton. This one, now I don't like pumpkin spice, <laughs> so I love this pattern by the Witchy Stitcher. It's called PSL They're Here, and I stitched this on 28 count Murano in the color Nebula by Crafty Kitten. And that's that one. And her patterns, patterns are available on Etsy. The last one I picked to show, and this was a really recent finish, is Electra by Nora Corbett. And she is stitched on 32 count opal linen in looking glass from Under the Sea Fabrics. I love her. She's super blingy too. So since our whip group was super successful in 2019, we've continued with it into 2020. And I'm just going to show you a quick little cross section of some of my whips, not all 94. But hopefully it'll give you a good example of the kind of projects I'm going to be working on this year. The first one that I hope to get back to soon is Halloween at Hawkorn Hollow by Carriage House Sampling. This one's big. And I'm stitching this on 40 count Hocus Pocus by Hand Dye Fabrics by Stephanie. The next is I'm participating in a lot of the full coverage Pronatics challenges. And I'm using this project, Under the Flowers by Marine Loop, charted by Pain Free Crafts. I'm using this for my 20 in 2020 challenge and for stitching the national parks. And I've just started page two. But I love the colours on this one. The next one, which is nearly a finish, is Sweet Bears by Soda Stitch. And this is beautiful, bright colours. And I'm on the last tier. I'm like almost there. I think I just need to take two weeks and finish that off. Another one is Red Mermaid. It's a kit by RTO. And this one's lovely, but it's got lots of blends in it. And that's her. And uh, next up. Away We Ride by Blackbird Designs and after last year saying that I wasn't going to do any more counting group challenges I joined Semi and Stitchers and signed up for all the things and right now I'm using this one for B is for Blackbird for Alphabet Soup and we're currently stitching things associated with China. My next one is Happy Bat by Alessandra Adelaide and this one has super bright colours and I only have a little star on him as he was a star in December as a reward for sticking with the challenge all year we had something called Star to Palooza and so while I finished nearly 30 things I think I started 30 things in December. Next up I don't have a cover photo because it's tiny and it's on the box but I jumped on the Owl Forest embroidery bandwagon once I saw this one and it's called Enchanted Forest and this is with all the hand dye threads that come in their kit that are beautiful. And last up we have Witch's Night Out by Blackberry Lane and this one is deceptively massive and I'm stitching this one over one on 28 count Opal Bahama Mala from Under the Sea Fabrics. But this one's like super bright. Oh, that's the colour there. That's probably more accurate there. So that's it um, for today. Uh, next time, I think we'll come back and do a full whip parade and insert some cover pictures so we can do it a lot more smoothly. But if that's something you, you're interested in, please like and subscribe or if floss shoot's not your thing, uh, you can follow along at Mama Bear Stitchery on Instagram and that will be linked below. But hopefully I can manage to upload this and I'm happy stitching and I'll see you next time.